So today we are doing a very, very exciting video. An extra very today, what would that be? Why are we, why extra, extra exciting? What is the reason? Maybe the reason was portrayed in the thumbnail. Maybe you may have saw those shoes, maybe. I think over a year ago, I did a video where I tried super high heels and boy, did I think those were high? Well, like think again, because today I really do think we may have found the world's highest high heel. That and many other things, like maybe the most difficult to walk in heels, the heelless heels. Like we are going to be trying so many weird shoes today. Like I was like massaging my ankles earlier. I was like, okay, you guys, I know you're used to walking around in the same pair of shoes with your orthopedics, but like, Step up. Did I say orthopedics? I always do that. I meant orthotics. My feet live a very cushy lifestyle. Like I try my best to wear comfortable things from head to toe and my feet are no exception. Like I need comfortable shoes. I say this now in so many videos, but I was a figure skater. I destroyed my knees and ankles during that sport. So now I need to do damage control. And what damage control is better than these shoes. I don't even want to show them because I don't want to like ruin the surprise, but you guys, we have one, two, three, four, five, six insane shoes to try. Now I actually bought these shoes a long, long time ago, but I was going through my storage cabinet and I was like, what is, what is this? What are all these packages? Sure enough, I had bought a bunch of high heels and I thought, you know what? I don't want this stock to go to waste and like they look crazy, so let's do it. So clearly I don't want to give any hints, but <laughs> should I give a hint actually? No, I don't want to give any hints. So without further ado, if you want to see me possibly break an ankle, this is lit. Oh my gosh, it's making the term literally break a leg. But if you want to see me struggle to walk and try on some crazy obnoxious shoes, and if you're possibly in the market for some crazy shoes, well, perfect. So let's get into this. Let's go. I literally don't know which pair to start with because it's like, should I start tame? Because the most tame shoes really aren't that tame. So maybe we should start there. Introducing the least exciting pair of shoes you will see in this haul. And that is these tie-dye, like thigh-high shoes. And like, how big is this heel? I'm getting so used to super high heels that this doesn't even look daunting anymore. Like what? I wear flats every day. I would say this is like an eight or nine inch heel, not 100% sure. I'm like sizing it up mentally with a ruler. But I mean, the eye-catching part of this is this beautiful tie-dye. You guys know I love tie-dye. This is an honest and vibrant, beautiful tie-dye. This fabric for anyone actually curious and to buy these, it feels great. Like, I don't know how it's gonna look on. And one thing I will say with really high heels, if they have more of like a boot shape, it usually makes them easier to wear. So we'll see. I did kind of say these would be easy to walk in, but like easy is all relative. So let's try them. All right, you may notice when I'm trying these on, there's a lot of space above my head. Obviously there's a reason for that. And that reason is right here. I can't be stalling any longer. Let's put these on. I'm so freaking nervous. Like, I don't wanna break an ankle. I really can't afford to do that right now. A great thing I just noticed is I probably could fit my insoles in these. Here they are. That's it. Okay, I'm not standing up. Goodbye. Just kidding, I have to stand up. Okay. All right, Mia, come on. You said these were gonna be easy to stand in. Pull up in your jeans and turtleneck. Oh my gosh! Okay, like, what if I was actually this tall? Like, some people are really this tall. This is a whole new world I've never seen on top of this shelf. Oh my gosh, I really need to dust up here. Okay, no sudden movements. I'm actually seeing the world. Oh, I'm seeing the world at a whole nother height right now. I love how I have this shelf just like perfectly as a handle, but okay, here they are. They are beautiful. They are so hard to walk in. Definitely something you would have to practice. As you guys know, I've been working on my splits. Should I try and split in these? Just jump into a split. Yeah, I really like them. They're really pretty. Honestly, they're gorgeous. I love them. I love them, but I must go. I cannot wear them any longer. Okay, so now I wanna talk about this style. We've never tried this style on my channel, but like, oh my gosh. Is my foot gonna be able to do this? If you don't see what's happening here, like this is a 90 degree angle shoe. Your foot is going to be like straight and then <clears throat> the toes. Just 
Pop them off. To anyone who wears this shoe for over 20 minutes, how do you do it? Does your foot just get used to it or does it just get numb? It's crazy. Also, all of these shoes are out of the packaging. The packaging, like it's really, really wrapped up. So I decided I would just take them out. I just feel like I would've been rustling around plastic this whole video. So I decided to take them out before I filmed. When I look at this shoe, I can't help but laugh because like, look at how flat that is right here. Like that is not normal. Here is the shoe we just tried on just to compare and then here is the shoe we're about to put on so like this gap in here is non-existent on this shoe I've never ever worn a shoe like this I don't know what it's gonna feel like I don't know if I'm going to be constantly falling forward that's what I kind of imagine it's like I'm so far on my tippy toes I'm just constantly tipping forwards and falling down but enough about the angle the shoe is beautiful it's like a neon pink I'm very excited I think we just have to put it on thank goodness there's this band here Otherwise, I really do think my foot would just fly out of this shoe, but we'll see. Maybe it'll be easier. I don't know. Okay, now it's time for these. I'm gonna have to take my snowflake fluffy socks off. What a shame. I feel like my feet are gonna feel like they're in a straight jacket. Oh! All of a sudden, I just had like this big like wave of excitement and happiness, but it wasn't because of the shoes. It's because I'm watching The Bachelorette tonight with my parents. Have things to look forward to, you guys. Okay, right now, weirdly enough, they don't feel weird. Like, they feel okay. This is strange, but I think I'm gonna get hit with reality really quick here. When I try to- Oh my gosh, you're joking. This is so painful. Oh my gosh! Literally, Violet Chashki, how do you do this? Like, literally? How does she do this? Her calves must be like made out of steel. I can't straighten my legs. Oh my gosh. This is actually way more painful than I thought it was gonna be. Like I thought it was gonna hurt, but like I actually can't, I can't straighten my knees, you guys. It makes me have to be like, ah! Oh my gosh, my feet are sweating. It actually hurts so bad. No, no, I'm in distress for a reason. This hurts so bad. If you wear these and like walk around, I bow down to you. Your pain tolerance is through the roof. You are a superhero. Seriously. Not all heroes wear capes. They wear these shoes. They really do. Okay, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna try and walk like it doesn't hurt. And you can tell me if you believe it or not. Okay, I'm gonna walk in. I'm gonna have a dramatic entrance moment. Hold on. morning. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How's everyone's day? Did you believe it? <laughs> Did you believe it? These actually like all the pain is in the front of my foot and my toes. Like this is the worst. I will never wear these again. They're actually so painful. I feel like my mom's got to try these on. Let's do that. <laughs> a steep angle. Like, like literally your toe is at a 90 degree. Look at mom, a 90 degree angle. You literally have to be like a ballerina able to stand right on your tippy toes to wear those. I think gonna be a little bit easier than some of those other ones. I don't know based on what. Oh! Hey! <laughs> Can- are you actually- <laughs> <laughs> Mom's like, why are they so easy? Why? <laughs> Mom's like, wait a sec! <laughs> are you supposed to straighten your leg while wearing them? Yes. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I did like that. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> No problem. I'm going. Try and walk like it doesn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> That's a weird angle. Like honestly, like <laughs> it's the most annoying thing because I why do you have me in a headlock? You have me in a headlock. You have me in a headlock. <laughs> I just feel like I was tall and I was trying to grab you and you were like curling under my arm. Okay, so yeah. You have to overcompensate by leaning back. Mike. They hurt your feet. That's why I was trying to hurry with them to get to where to the chair because they're like breaking my feet. Yeah, they're awful. Some of these shoes, I just wonder if they're supposed to look nice for when you're just sitting. A sitting shoe. A sitting shoe. A sitting shoe. <laughs> <laughs> so going off a heel that is so high and so arced, we can only make a natural progression to a shoe with no heel. Now, I have been dying 
to try a shoe like this. A lot of people really don't like this style. Like I've heard a lot of people have lots to say about not enjoying this look, but I personally think it's fun. I mean, it's so, I mean, this style feels very like galaxy vibes with the pink hollow, very fun. The boot also I think will make it a little bit easier to walk in, but I mean, we're not even talking about like, for Kate, yeah, like there's no heel, but also like look at how high this pump is. Like, could I ever walk in a wedge that high? let alone a wedge where they just chopped the heel off. It's bizarre, like where would you wear this? But also like, why does it kind of match my outfit? These were made to go together. I don't know, I mean, you knew when you clicked the title, extra, super high, crazy heels. And this is just another pair, so let's put it on. Okay, I'm super excited to try these on. You know, I've never worn a shoe with no heel, I don't think, not that I can remember anyways. Okay, first thing I'm noticing is my feet are feeling very secure in these. My feet feel comfortable and like well taken care of. Nothing better than silver hollow, but pink hollow. Let's see, I'm scared I'm gonna like go to like rely on a heel and it's not gonna be there. Oh my. Oh my gosh. First of all, I'm like almost too tall. Head is almost out of the shot right now. Oh my gosh, these are easy to walk in. What the heck? Oh my goodness, I can literally, I can stomp in these. These are fun, you can like roll. Oh my God. <laughs> don't forget, you don't have heels though. These are fun, like you can kind of like roll. Oh my gosh, I'm loving these. I look like a giant in this room right now. Like I am towering over everyone. I could do like a mediocre dance, definitely. I love these. And I think because the bottom is quite big, there's a lot of space to balance. It's definitely being in like a wedge boot. These are a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I feel really good. I feel like pleasantly surprised by these. I do kind of keep feeling myself to go back onto a heel. Like, does this freak you out? Oh my gosh, how low can I go? Oh my gosh, okay, I need to get out of these. I was gonna wait for last for these ones, but honestly, I just really can't wait to get to them. These are what I have only ever seen to be the highest heel. If you have seen a higher heel, please link them down below because I've gotta try them, but I'm pretty sure these might literally be the highest heel. I don't wanna speak too prematurely, but like, they're super high. I mean, no intro would ever do justice, so I'll just show you. What the heck? So yes, I found this on AliExpress. I was searching around for like the world's highest heel and I saw this and I mean, this pump, like I thought like a five inch pump was massive because it is. And this I swear is like 10 or 12 inch pump, let alone the heel, like my ankle, could really break, like it really could. I'm definitely gonna be calling my mom up here to help me because I seriously have this terrible feeling like I actually might fall and break my legs in these. Like they are gonna be so wobbly. Like look at what's supporting your whole body weight. Just like this little circle and this. And then you're like on a stilt basically. Like you know painting stilts? That's what this feels like. But like make painting stilts a high heel. Who wears these? What are you doing? How are you doing it? Please teach me. I admire your talents and skills. Like I really can't get over this. Like I'm sorry, I'm actually obsessed with having this in my collection. Like this deserves to be on display. I don't know what its purpose is, but I'm obsessed. So let's try it on. My mom is on the way to help me get into these so I don't break an ankle. Could you imagine if I literally broke an ankle? That would be so unfortunate. Oh my god. So wobbly. Ah. Mom? 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 Hello? I need your help. Oh man. I feel worried about these. Don't pretend like you didn't put them on. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna be prepared to lift you so you don't roll yeah, your do ankle. Yeah, do a wide stance. Okay. wider. <laughs> okay. My knee! Mom, I'm rising up. <laughs> okay, so I'm in my shoes and I'm going to the mall. <laughs> I will f pull my back to keep you from falling. Sit down. Whoa. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Can somebody actually?
actually walk in these shoes? Because I've been on a mission to try and learn how to walk in them. I've always wanted to learn to walk on stilts. Okay, ready? I'm gonna let go of you. <gasps> Mia. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, eight seconds. Should I try and take a step? <laughs> okay. If you keep your feet forwards, like don't trust the heels at all. Yeah. Oh my freaking goodness. <laughs> They're awful. Oh, oh my gosh. I need to go. I need to try them. Be careful. I feel like I'll be able to get in these, no problem. You always feel like you're gonna be okay. Okay, mom. Mom, I'm scared. <laughs> Don't rely okay. on the, the heel part. Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> be careful when you're up there. Be careful. Okay, okay, just hang on. I feel like I... <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> Did you roll your ankle? No, I didn't. You just fell out of I them. I just fell out of them. <laughs> I'm gonna give them a can't wear them out of 10, but I love them and I will display them somewhere. Yeah, I agree. Okay, these are kind of along the same line as those pink ones we tried on. They've got the really, really crazy angle, like your foot is at an actual 90 degree angle. These very much make me think of Violet Tchotchke. I feel like she wears this style of shoe a lot, where it's like, firstly, the crazy angle, but also just this style. I can't get over how small the toe area is. I wouldn't consider my toes that big, but like, how in the world is it gonna fit right here? Is it just gonna get jammed and jammed in here? I like this style though, with the white and the burgundy. It's very pretty and like very well made. Like all these shoes are so, so well made and well put together. So I think we'll just try these ones on. <laughs> They're so weird. Now, based on the pink ones that were like a 90 degree angle, I think this is going to hurt just as bad, if not worse. Oh, my feet. My feet are like, what are you doing to me? First of all, looks wise, I love them. Like the look is very cool and unique. Like no shoe I've ever worn before, but uh, I think this is where it usually blows up. I'm like on my tippy toe. Like if this is my toe, okay, well, <laughs> hold on, I can't do this. I'll show a diagram of a foot where my entire body weight sits is right here, the very tip. Like seriously, the tip of my big toe is carrying my entire body weight. Like I'm not kidding, I can actually feel it. Like you would have to have the strongest toes. Oh my goodness, but am I serving? What's even the point of the little like point at the front? It's not doing anything. My feet are like a size two or something. They're just so little. Like imagine if the rest of it was just like ankle and the bottom was just the foot. <laughs> kind of looks funny. Oh, I don't know about these ones, you guys. They're beautiful and well-made, but they're not an everyday wear. Okay, and last but certainly not least, we have these blue, almost like latex-inspired fabric, and this is another heelless shoe, but it doesn't stop here. It continues and continues and continues and continues. This is like a thigh-high blue latex inspo boot. This one almost feels a little bit different. Like this is gonna be a lot more tippy than the other heelless boot we tried because for this one, we had like a lot more to stand on. This one is a lot smaller, so it'll be a lot more tippy. These shoes are so fun. I'm definitely gonna have to find somewhere very specific to donate some of these to, but okay, let's put this one on too. Okay, now these should be interesting. <laughs> Ooh, got a big long boot. All right, here they are. You can kind of hear them. How do she, whoa, oh my gosh. Okay, don't be too confident, Mia. This is not too bad. I mean, I have nothing to rely on though. Like no heel support at all. Like it's definitely, I'm on my tippy toes the whole time. They're not as comfortable as the other ones, like the ones that had no heel, the other ones, they had a little bit more to them. These are definitely a little bit more defying gravity, I must admit. I definitely think there would be a time limit on the amount of time I could wear these without them hurting super badly, but I like them. I love the blue. I think they're definitely 
a statement for sure. I'm kind of more confident in these. Don't get me wrong though. I'm still reaching for everything I can hold on to. I'm like grabbing all my plants and candles and stuff. But yeah, not bad. I would say that I like the heel of the other ones a little bit more, but could I rest? Oh my gosh, you just get tired? You can just go like this. Now that looks weird. How much calf strength do I have ready? Oh. Oh. These are called push-ups for your calves. Okay, I need to be done. I need to be done. All right, you guys, what did you think of these shoes? Which ones were your favorite? Which ones scared you the most? Because like, was anyone nervous when I put on the high ones? Like, be honest, were you worried for my ankles? Cause I was. Could you actually walk in those, honestly? Like, I don't know. You guys know I absolutely love trying fun, weird clothing. So I had a ton of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any more shoes, weird shoes, nice shoes, any type of shoe, any type of clothing, any brand that you guys would like to see me do, make sure to comment them down below and I will of course get to those. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!